In Cameroon, when you have a child with autism, the child's future is like cut right in, discounted from the society, from people, everything. That's why I don't feel like a miserable. Because if I take all my kids home, they're going to be bullied by everybody, even in my family. I have four, four kids with autism, four, four. When Prince got diagnosed with autism, that was the first time I heard the word autism. Back home, they'll say, Prince is crazy. Hi, Eddie. No, I'm not happy. Talk to Otto Marjorie. Don't bite your hands. Stop. Go up, okay? Thank you. How old is Prince? Thank you. What, what is Prince doing? Are you banging your head on the wall? Oh. Uh, uh. When I came to university, a lot of people talk about American dream. You have to have a wife and kids, get a house. You so I have that in my mind. Then when Prince was generous, everything just disappeared in my head in a minute. I was very devastated because that was my first child. My culture, when you have a boy, it's like a gift of God. Somebody's going to keep your name. But to have a child who goes somewhere screaming, pushing things, is doing things, it was very hard for me to accept it. I can imagine a nightmare if I have my kid in Cameroon. My, my mate? No, I'm not mad. My kid? No, I'm not sad. Yes, I'm happy. God have a plan for us to come to the United States to have our kids here. Every, every month. The parents were worried at first. He's been to several different kind of schools and, and elementary that they just had a hard time figuring out how to help Prince. Happy. Sad. Okay. He spoke quickly, so people had a hard time understanding him. So in result of that, he would get frustrated really easily. Special Olympics Unified Sports was a catalyst of change. I thought, you know what, this would be a great outlet for him being able to be social with other kids, both students with and without disabilities. Our kids don't typically have typical friendships where they have those experiences at home. I think parents really appreciate the experience that Special Olympics Unified Sports gives them. People don't have maybe the best understanding of kids with autism. There's a lot of misconception about their abilities and what they can do. So what do you think about doing a couple of your problems up there? You just have to expect the best out of them. All right, come on up. And push them beyond what they're showing you. Prince, he just loves numbers. All right, do the next one. At the end of the day, he would just take a pile of the math worksheets and stick it in his bag. And I didn't even ask him to take them home. Mm -hmm. 
I think it really helped the parents too because it gave him something that was typical. The ambulance, this is amazing. How come a kid, I thought he's not going to write and read, can do math? I saw the big difference in trends. Hi, he, he become a people person. Hi, hi. Hi, I say, hi. 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 I'm fine. Now he can go somewhere with the crowd. It's okay. He's so friendly. Everybody to him is a friend of his. Bye bye, bye bye. 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 <laughs> One day, they invited us to come to this game. I was shocked to see my son is like a star. Everybody talk about him, people screaming. It's a pretty regular society. This is the place I'm supposed to be. That moment that he was playing, I forgot that he has autism. I was so emotional, I can't believe it. Special Olympics in a fire spot really helped him. That was the beginning of hope. Like, I just see hope with my kids. Good. When he's playing basketball, I always kept looking at him like, how is he a star? I could literally look up to him. My kids are my world. They're my everything. That's why this is my home. I'm not supposed to say that, but this is my home. And I hope one day the world will be educated and accept people with disability. It will one day come. It will one day come.